anti-presidential candidate and former Vice President Joe Biden finds himself in more hot water this week. Just confirmed, a Ukrainian court ordered Joe Biden to be formally listed in a criminal case. The crime? The alleged firing of Ukraine's former prosecutor general, Viktor Shokin, in exchange for dropping an investigation into Joe Biden's son, Hunter Biden, and the company for which he was a board member, Burisma Oil. Shokin formally called for an investigation into his firing back in February of 2020, claiming the Ukrainian government at the time relieved Shokin of his post in exchange for $1 billion in loan guarantees promised by Biden. A bribe Biden himself admitted to doing. The prosecutor's not fired. You're not getting the money. Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> got fired. But at the time Shokin called for this case back in February, the courts listed one of the defendants as an unnamed American, an individual widely understood to be Joe Biden, Obama's Ukraine point man. But Biden was never formally named. Now, the courts have ruled it is improper to conceal Biden's name and that there is sufficient evidence to proceed with an investigation. The ruling cannot be appealed. Another key development in this story is the release of a series of telephone conversations that has garnered major questions. Andrei Durkach, a member of parliament in Ukraine, in a press conference Tuesday released what he says appear to be voice recordings of then-Secretary of State John Kerry, Vice President Joe Biden, and then-President of Ukraine Poroshenko, discussing the Burisma case and discussing the removal of Viktor Shokin. Neither Kerry, Biden, nor Poroshenko have affirmed the verity of these recordings. The recordings appear to have been leaked from government officials and whistleblowers, but are currently being verified. Ukrainian President Zelensky stated he anticipates more developments over the course of the summer and says the case could qualify as high treason. Candidate Biden has yet to respond to this latest development. Chanel Rian, One American News, the White House.